Da -da. Welcome to the workshop, ladies and gentlemen. Today we have an exquisite Chinesium 12 volt DeWalt style battery. This one isn't branded as DeWalt, it is your generic Chinesium masterpiece. Um, bought this because I didn't realize the laser level I bought was a 12 volt and not an 18 volt. So, to give you a comparison, Here's a standard 18, well, a 5 amp hour 18 volt. And here's the little mini 12 volter. So it'd be interesting to see what's inside these. If they're tiny little batteries, if it's even anywhere near 2.5 amp hours, who knows. So let's take it apart and let's have a look, shall we? I'm not, not going to take this one apart today, um, mainly because I need it. So we won't do that. What we will do is have a look inside this one. Um, so... Just, uh, we'll start with the back. So, we better caution. Read Gurley. Make sure we read Gurley. <laughs> Handling instructions before use. I was going to do my best Chinese impression then, but I thought that might get me uh, a little strike, a little YouTube strike. But you can read Gurley how you'd like into that. Uh, do not dis disensemble. Yeah, do not disassemble, disassemble, no, disassemble, nor throw into fire. Okay, we won't do that. Charging room temp 10 to f minus 40. Oh no, 10 to 40. That's me being an idiot. Made in China. Uh, don't get it wet. Don't throw it away. Well, don't recycle, I'm guessing. Actually, I don't know. Not normal bin, must be a battery bin. It's a, a light ion. And then recycle with some crazy number. And RBRC, maybe the, I don't know. And then you've got the, the CE mark, China export. So, I brought the big boys out today. Made in USA Craftsman. Instead of the real cheapy screwdrivers I've been using. So let's take it apart and let's have a look. I'm hoping, I say this hasn't been apart. This is the first time I've even seen it. So if this doesn't come apart this way, then maybe there's a screw under here. Nope, doesn't seem like it. Might be some mystery screws in the back, but it's not. There'd probably be a sticker holding it together though, as per usual. So I hope everyone had a nice new year. I'm straight back into work, which is good. Or is it? I don't know, but it's been a long few days already and it's only what the 3rd of January today. So, right, bottom's coming off. Okay, the well, good thing is it's, to, it's just literally fell off. Oh, there we go. So, looks like 18650 cells. For some reason, I, I was thinking that the cells will run, there'd be some small sort of uh, propriety sort of um, cell, cells that would run this way. But no, 18650s, they are glued together with a bit of, uh, not even, hot, well maybe hot glue, almost like, no, to be fair, it looks like super glue. You can see the whiting around there. Um, all right, let's take it apart. Solder there looks, yeah, not great. At least they're um, spot welded on the back and on the front. So let's, do not disassemble them low. Oh, it's quite tight there. I might have to. There's a spring. Do I just pull harder? That is the question. Do I? Uh. Okay, I'm pulling harder. Oh, it doesn't look, looks like that will break. Okay, we've lost the spring. That's a good start. Well, that must stop, stop these from flapping around and I'm guessing the fit isn't great on the case. So that's what the spring's for. I might get a small little screwdriver under there and just pry that off and we can have a proper look. Or my finger. There we go. Look at that. So, nope, the spring isn't for the battery. Or well, maybe this is a bit of a dual usage there. Spring holds the battery tight to the bottom of the case and also has you, keeps the release up as well. Right, put that down there for a second. 
stop the back. This is real cheap, really sharp as well. ABS. I'm thinking it's ABS. Feels like ABS. I'm not going to burn it and do the smell test. Um, we've got a DCB 120 inside. Lots of uh, injection molding marks. This feels like if I drop it properly, that will shatter. Probably take a corner out. Not nice at all. I could probably squeeze that. Um, something like a lunch box would be made out of. In fact, you can hear that. Not nice. At the top, even worse. I won't lie, I could probably, you can see the flex in that there. Um, again, a bit of a Tupperware, but it wasn't expensive. I think the whole thing was under £10 delivered all the way from across the globe. DCB120, um, so I'm guessing that's just down to their, their manufacturing making sure that the two halves meet as a whole. But tiny little thing, cheap plastic, but what do you expect? So, get into the, the heart of the battery. So I so say we start with the soldering. Soldered aren't, the solders aren't great. It looks like it was soldered when it was all put together, whether that's the way that you would do it or not, but you can see the solder then has run onto the plastic as well. So whether that makes the batteries get a bit warm, who knows? Try not to short out anything or, or make any mistakes here. I know there's only three batteries, but I don't really want to fire in my workshop just yet. Again, really cold solder there. Looks like the uh, the wire. I could probably pull it away. Looks like it's actually dug into the case in there as well. Hopefully we're in focus. But yeah, look, you can see that there. It's not great. I want to be able to take this part without breaking the solder joints. It looks like it's been soldered after it's been put together. So, hopefully we give you a little bit more light. Look at the back of the little chip there. A little microchip. Again, it looks like we've got a cold, coldish solder just here. That one there. I need a little plastic tool, don't I? I need a plastic pointer. Um, hang on. We can use a, a lovely, slightly used little flathead. Um, it's got epoxy over the top of the, uh, the screwdriver, so it shouldn't short anything. But yeah, so you see that one there, not the best. Hopefully we're in focus. A little bit dirty on the solder joins. The rest are okay. Um, pins look fine. I wonder if we can pull the plastic away from the pins. No, I don't think we can. I might be able to pry them out, but actually I still need to use this battery, so I'm not gonna break it down too much. Otherwise you've got a little IC there. A couple of little, um, C, what's a C6, C5? Um, I thought C was capacitor, but maybe I'm wrong, because they look equal. Someone will tell me what they are, a little transistor or something. No, I'm, I'm just making words up now. Resistors, possibly. Maybe I need to do some reading before I start taking some of these more electrical parts apart. Um, well, oh, hang on, here we go. So look, we have got a little thermal chip in there. Well, a little thermal um, sensor. Hopefully you can see that. I'm gonna do my pointing, like my best pointing. So that, to me, if we can get it in focus because of the light. Hopefully we can see that. That looks like a little, um, almost like a little heater, heat, what's the word I'm looking for? Not a resistor. Pause the video. Let me just check Google. 